Okay, boys and girls, today we're going to talk about adjectives. What is an adjective? An adjective modifies a noun or a pronoun. We've talked about nouns being people, places, things, or ideas, but we haven't talked about pronouns yet, and we're not going to worry about them yet. Um, we're going to talk about them later. Um, some examples of adjectives would be words like blue, tall, round, clean, and seven. Notice how they're descriptive words, and just like adverbs, they add some um, description and some um, color or um, kind of fancify our sentences. Otherwise, they'd be pretty boring. Um, the adjective questions that we ask in Shirley English are what kind, which one, and how many. I would write those down in my notes if I were you. What kind, which one, and how many. Um, some examples of what kind adjectives would be words like gray, black, pretty, hot, cold, dry, soft, smooth, and warm. Notice how they're descriptive words. Some examples of which one adjectives would be that, this, those, these, youngest, oldest, only, another. Notice how they kind of point, pinpoint which um, noun you're actually talking about. It specifies which one, so they're very specific. All right, and then the last question, how many? So the how many adjectives would be one, four, 55, some, all, both, and many. Um, there are lots and lots of these because we have lots and lots of numbers. Um, so just keep in mind, number words can be adjectives. All right, now, how do we label or classify adjectives? Well, we label adjectives with an ADJ. If you remember from our adverbs video, we label adverbs ADV. Don't get them confused and make sure your J looks like a J and not a V. I see it all the time and that would count you wrong. So make sure it's ADJ and not ADV. Make sure you get that label in your notes. All right, here are some example sentences. I would like you to pause and write these in your notebook and then I would like you to label or classify them. That owl flew silently. Seven ships sailed. Okay, make sure you pause and write these in your notebook. Okay, let's check our work. Let's see what color do we want to use today. Let's go ahead and use blue today. Okay, that owl flew silently. What flew silently? Owl, subject, noun. What is being said about owl? Owl flew, verb. Okay. Um, flew how silently? Oh, there's our ly again. Um, this would be your adverb because it's telling how. And we had our hint of the ly. Notice how that can look like a J, so be careful. Um, okay, and then which owl? So notice how I said um, which and which one is one of our um, questions for adjectives. So I know that that must be an adjective and it is telling which one. All right, and then our pattern on the line should still be S N V P 1. All right. How'd we do? Let's look at our next one. Seven ships sailed. What sail? Ships. Subject. Noun. Sorry, these are not supposed to be sloppy, but I'm using my mouse. <laughs> all right. Um, all right. What is being said about ships? Ships sailed. Verb. Which? Oh, no. Nope, I'm saying the wrong question. How many ships? Oh, I said how many, and I know that how many is an adjective, so I know that seven has to be an adjective. Now, you'll notice that the adjectives here 
are all in um, the subject part of the sentence, but that's not always going to be the case. Uh, we'll talk more about that later, but I just wanted to point that out. Um, so don't think, oh, because it's the first word, it's going to be an adjective. That's not necessarily always the case. All right, let's write our pattern. It's subject, noun, verb, pattern one. Remember, those are the nitty gritty things that we need for our pattern one sentence. Subject, noun, and a verb, because every sentence needs a subject, noun, and a verb. All right, let's go ahead and clear the board. I'll give you a second to make sure your work is checked. Okay, and let's continue. Okay, now it's your turn. Write sen three sentences containing adjectives. You and a partner will label these during class um, when we meet again. Um, so make sure that they can read them because they'll be labeling them for you and then you'll check them together. All right, look forward to seeing your sentences.